I'm going to show you how I purl my stitches with continental knitting. Then I'm going to show you how I purl for you English style knitters, but this is how I hold the yarn. This is the most comfortable way I've learned how to purl. To hold the yarn, I place my pinky on top of the yarn and then give it a twist like that. So another way to think about it is here, I'll do this. I'll kind of weave the yarn. So my pinky is on top and then the yarn goes on top of these two fingers and then it goes behind my index finger. So this is another way I hold the yarn to tension and then I purl a stitch. I use my index finger to wrap the yarn around the needle. Sometimes I hold the yarn pretty far out like this and it's that little pinky, that we woven yarn around the pinky and those fingers that help give me my tension. So if I hold the yarn a little tighter, that yarn's not going anywhere, but then when I relax my hands a little bit, the yarn can travel. So this is one way I hold the yarn, just woven pinky on top, and then the yarn goes on top of those middle two fingers, and then the yarn goes behind my index finger. Insert the needle. The needle always goes behind my working yarn, and then I just throw the yarn down. So my needle's not really doing too much. It goes in and then my finger gives me the tension and then I pull it through. So the needle goes in and then I just take the needle out. I'm not really doing a lot of funky stuff with my needle. It just goes directly in, I toss it down, and then the needle goes through and off. So let me show you how I hold the yarn with a little bit more tension, like I showed you in the beginning. I'll undo a few stitches for you. So if I want a little more tension, I'll take my pinky on top of the yarn and give it a whole twist like that, and then weave it through my other fingers. So that gives me a bit more tension. Take the pinky on top, wrap it around, the yarn goes in front of those middle fingers and behind my index. And this I can get a little extra tension if I want to knit tighter or if I'm working with a slippery yarn. This gives me more tension in my left hand with the yarn. And then again, if I want to travel or if I want that yarn to slide through my fingers, I just let go a little bit, loosen my fingers so that the yarn can slide but I only do that a little bit. I loosen my fingers just a little bit to whoop, give me a little bit more yarn there to content, continue purling. So that's how I purl. If you hold the yarn in your right hand, then it's really easy. Just stick the needle through, wrap the yarn around, needle goes into the yarn, wrap the yarn around and pull it through and off, needle goes in, wrap around, through and off. So that's how I purl. It's, there's no right or wrong way on how to work the purl stitch, but that's how I love holding the yarn. If you want a little more tension, do the wrap on top and that little woven looking just like that. And one way I think that you could start to purl a little bit faster is making sure that your finger is never too far away from the needle. I usually hold my finger kind of far away and that's just how I zoom across and what I'm comfortable with. But I see a lot of people holding the yarn really close to the needle, like right here. So you're not having to make as big of a movement and you can keep all the movements contained really closely. And as I'm knitting or as I'm purling, I'm letting go of my fingers just a little bit every now and then, purling and letting go, purling and letting go, letting go. So you just have that tension and then you relax it and you relax it so you can get a little bit more length out of your yarn. Um, yep, so you get more yarn. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let go. You can't uh, hold your yarn too tight, otherwise you're gonna run out of yarn to wrap around that needle. 
So when it's getting, oh, I'm running out of yarn, just relax, let go a little bit. Ooh, relax, let go a little bit, get a little bit more yarn. And that's how I purl. So let me know in the comments down below if you have another favorite method of purling. There's so many ways to do any technique in knitting, but that's just how I do it, and it's gotten really speedy for me and comfortable. So if that's new for you, give it a try, and it might feel a little slow at first, but the more you practice, it's all about repetition, and then it's gonna get more comfortable, you're not gonna have to think about it, and over time, it might get a little bit more speedy for you. But give that method a try, and then ask some friends how they purl, and see if their method works quicker or easier for you. So there's more than one way to do anything, but that's how I like to do it, and let me know if there's another method that you like to try down below. So thanks for watching. If you like those tips and tricks, you can check out a lot more of those types of videos at westnits.com. I have a whole series of online workshops where I show you how to work with color, how to do my favorite West Knits best tips techniques, and there's even lessons on brioche and shawl design. So check those out at westnits.com, and thanks for watching.